Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick tour now of what I've done so far with the Minecraft, uh, the Minecraft Stadium, the baseball stadium in Minecraft. Um, it started out with the idea of being a replica of Coors Field. Um, that's proven to be very difficult to do, of course. I mean, obviously a real life baseball stadium has got so many diagonals, various curves in the stands, etc. that are just impossible to do in Minecraft without bumping the scale right up. And I wanted it to be one to one, not you know, not not have to do one block for a millimeter or something like that and take up half the map. So I've done the best I could to make it look like Coors Field. And first of all, we have the main stands around here. Over there in the distance, that's where the bar would be. And there are press boxes and VIP lounges along with the the cheap seats up above and glowstone floodlights. I'm really forgetting all my words today. I really should have written something down and just read from a script. <clears throat> the hardest part about building this whole thing was I didn't choose a perfectly flat area to build it on. I picked a I basically I picked a random starting point and then I had to level out a 100 by 100 block area. And one block in Minecraft is equal to one meter. It's a bit of a strange scale when you look at it because there's no way that's one meter, but that's apparently what it is. Um, I eventually laid down all the guidelines where the foil up pole lines were going to go, the edges of the base track, etc. First thing to go down, obviously, was the grass. Get that in place. That took quite some time. Then. Once this was done, I created the dugouts, which, oh, there's some rogue blocks up there. Um, they started out with a much bigger roof over them, but after having watched a few Rockies games recently, I realised that the dugouts are actually mostly open air. This building in the middle, by the way, if you're wondering, it's not actually going to be part of the stadium when I'm done. Um, I'm going to tear it down. This is just a construction area. Literally, I have bricks, wood, stone, etc. Everything just ready for for building with and a bed for when I'm on the server on my own and can pass the time at night instead of having to build around monsters. Um, obviously there's a, there's a file pool line there. I initially made the file pool lines out of big stacks of glowstone but they were way too thick and there was absolutely no way that the players uh, players, fans, uh, non-existent fantasy fans, <laughs> would be able to have seen past them, so I just changed them to fence. Decided they wouldn't need to be lit up at all. Uh, I'll have a look inside the bar. I just noticed there's a skeleton up there, so two seconds. I'll play. Ah, pressing all the wrong buttons again. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, and everybody's going to burn anyway. Okay. And if you heard that little train noise, that's good. There's a lot of there's a lot of cavey like areas in the stadium underneath the stands, etc. Hollow areas, and Minecraft plays those sounds whenever it comes across them. Uh, there's doors all around the bar, but they're not actually connected. They don't actually go out anywhere. So sheer drop on that side. I have not done this area at all. All you have here, only way in is through the glass, but. Got pistons for seats, levers as beer taps, and a great view out over the stadium. Down over towards this way, we have the bullpens, which were originally about half the width, but after having put the stands in and realizing that they needed to go all the way back to the second tier, I had to widen them up a bit. There's the outfield stands as well. Uh, that tree is way too big and will get trimmed down at some point. It's luck of the draw what sort of tree you get when you plant a sapling, whether it grows into a giant one or a normal sized one. I wanted to have the bushes that you can find in that and the fountains. And there's the outfield stands as well. I need to put some fencing at the back. This was one of the least fun bits to build actually, but I love having it here. I spent ages planning this out in Photoshop and getting it just right. I mean, that's pr 
pretty huge and I tried to get it as bang on as I could in terms of where it started and finished and how high it went. I think that's pretty good and I love the uh, the Rockies motif up there. That's probably the only, this is really the only thing I guess that identifies this as Coors Field other than the vague stand layout. Like I said, Minecraft is really hard to do something like this in. Maybe a football stadium, which is a bit more square, might be easier to do, but the the shape of a baseball stadium doesn't really lend itself to Minecraft. So I had a bit of a problem there. I also really need to put fences down at the side of the stands. That's a bit of a hazard. So that's the this is the field and the stands. Right now I'll show you the tunnels and the changing rooms for the players. The dugouts are connected to tunnels which I'm not, I won't run around them all because they take a long time but these tunnels lead you back round to the uh, bullpens so the relief pitchers have got somewhere to go and down in here this is the away um, changing room. This is the best I could really do for lockers um, I really didn't know how to make them, so I, I made my best possible guess, and this was it. In here, there's the uh, massage hot tub thing, and again, the best I can do for making showers in Minecraft. There's so many things that Minecraft just doesn't lend itself to doing. So that's the away teams. And over this way, this will be the Rockies dugout. If you're wondering what those levers are on the wall, by the way, that's just in place of, that's to signify a phone. That's so the coach can call up the bullpen. Like It literally does nothing. There is nothing connected to this at all. It's just a bit of decoration. There's also one in each of the bullpens. And as you can see, the tunnel down there goes to the Rockies bullpen. And here we have the Rockies locker room. It's a bit bigger, it's a bit nicer. Home field advantage. They've got two massa two hot tubs and a slightly bigger shower room as well. The key thing to remember is that I've only ever seen Coors Field from the outside. I've not had the liberty of actually going to a game yet and I cert certainly haven't had a tour of it. I've only been to Colorado in the winter when only partial tours have been running of Coors Field so I've not had a chance to... so I, I wanted to wait until I visited in warm weather to see the whole thing. So once I had the field down and the scoreboard everything was just kind of guesswork and I don't know whether the, v the VIP lounge would be up there or that would be the press boxes up above or what. I don't even know if the press boxes are here in actual fact. Um, they may even be at that end towards the bar now that I think about it but I'm not going to redesign this is as far as I'm concerned the stands are done again there's doors out and there is actually a bit of flooring out there but it doesn't lead anywhere there's no stairs down I haven't planned the actual innards of the stadium yet and you can see into the there's some VIP lounges there there's three along that way well done and there's the master VIP lounge Again, I'm going to take all this dirt away when it's finished. This is just somewhere to go. I could start putting all the steps in, but maybe later. Oh, I don't know why I'm... Yeah, in there is all one big VIP room. So that's the master VIP room. The, mo the most expensive one. The one you take out mortgages to, uh, to hire out. Ow. And so that's Coors Field, really. Or an approximation thereof. I will hopefully get some work on the insides of the stadium done, but I predict that is going to be a massive, massive pain. I really don't even know how to begin that, so I'm not looking for. Ooh, that shouldn't be there. That should be up above. Oh, there's a half slab of snow missing. I bet it's that torch's fault. Um, so fingers crossed that isn't too bad, and I'll be able to do it. Oh, and that's the. <laughs> this little bit of string on the ground doesn't really show up too well. Uh, third base coach's box. Stand here and give signals. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all again.